Hey everyone, welcome to the show. I am the CD Escape Griller, and we are social distancing still due to the COVID-19 virus. We are at our lake house, and one of the good things that's come out of this is that I have been able to catch up on some reading, like this book right here, Bob's Burgers Burger Book. In the U.S., there is a cartoon called Bob's Burgers, and it's a great show. But this is real recipes for joke burgers, some of the joke burgers that are in that show. Really funny stuff. And uh, here on page seven, let me just read you a little excerpt. All right, here we go. Cooking burgers on the grill has a certain paleo appeal, and it's unquestionably the smell and taste of summer. So if you're in the mood, fire it up. But you should know that most professionals use a flat top, and you have a flat top in your house, it's called a frying pan. When you cook in a pan, more of the fat and moisture stay in the burger. You also get more surface contact, which means more caramelization, which means more flavor. So in today's video, I'm going to fire up the Weber Q with the griddle on one side and the grates on the other. We're going to throw these two burgers on right here. And we're going to answer that age old question. What makes a better burger, a flat top or flame broiled? here on the deck I've preheated the Weber Q and we're gonna cook these burgers over medium heat a little bit of oil for the griddle side spread that around with a basting brush and now we're gonna add our burgers these are 80-20 ground chuck burgers seasoned with olive oil salt and pepper close the lid and let's start grilling about three and a half minutes have passed and it's time to flip these burgers you can see that nice crust that's forming on the griddle burger and the grill marks that are on our grill burger. And after another three minutes or so, we're gonna add a slice of cheese to each burger. This is mozzarella cheese. Move these forward a little bit and I'll place down some potato buns one on the grill and one on the griddle. And we're going to give these about a minute or so. Those buns will burn easily, so don't go too far from your grill. And so now the burgers have been on for about seven minutes. I'm going to take these off. Put them on our buns and have our taste test. Griddle versus grill, grill versus griddle, which do you think is going to be the better burger? Okay, so we've got our burgers here. We've got our grilled burger in front. You can tell by, by the stripes on the, the bun, the grill marks. And then we've got the griddle burger behind. So the grill burger up front, griddle burger behind. I'm gonna add a little ketchup. Hopefully they're cooked about the same, being that they're on the same amount of time, but we'll find out. First, I'm gonna try the grilled burger. See how this tastes. Mmm. fantastic probably can't see from there maybe I can get you know on this but it's cooked um, pretty well about medium that's the way I like my burgers very tasty really juicy fantastic burger and now as you can see by the lack of grill marks here. We've got our griddle burger for the taste test here. Mm, that's excellent. 
And you can see here the doneness is about the same. About medium, maybe just a hair under medium. It's they're about the same same amount of time. So mm. it does have more of sort of a crust on the burger itself. So I'd have to say that the winner by a hair would be the griddle burger. It just has just a little bit better flavor from that crusty surface, just more sort of a, a bigger grill mark. It's the entire burger is one big grill mark. So the winner by a hair is the griddle burger, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and leave a like if you like this video, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And of course, keep on grilling. If people really like the taste of fried burgers, how come everyone doesn't have backyard frying pans instead of backyard barbecues? Why aren't there porta fries for the beach, tailgate fryers for the game, or public frying pans? Maybe the way you really do do it is the way you like it. Flame broiled. Think about it. Over a juicy flame broiled.